here we go on another baby registry review. So what I'm going to do is take you through a real registry that I found on Amazon. This is not my baby. I'm not pregnant. We're going to look at one, go through it item by item. I'm going to give my thoughts, opinions, my pros, my cons. Every household is different. Every family is different. They're going to need different items for different situations. This isn't necessarily judging. It's just giving my personal opinion. So take them, leave them, do what you want with them. And hopefully I can help you make a very minimal, efficient, productive baby registry. That's my goal, more or less. Save you money, find you items you're going to use. And let's jump right into the Amazon registry. Okay, let's start right off with this baby lounger. This is $100. And all this is is a flat thing to put your baby in. The floor would work literally just as well. I would not get that item. Next, we have a $100 swing. I'm not into swings. I'm not really into seats. I'm more put baby on the floor. But if you want one, okay, you could probably find one that's more affordable. We got a carrier wrap, whatever you want to call it. I am a fan of those. So nothing wrong with that. So instead of the swing, I would get this bouncer. I will say this is a very pretty bouncer. It's very minimalistic looking, very sleek. I bet it stores very, very easily, say under a bed between children. Honestly, like the baby Bjorn one is like so expensive. And to me, this one for $50, similar, does the job, looks very nice. So I would actually go with that. Then we have like a ball pit or play pin. So these large play pins, some people like them. I they're not a bad price. I just don't know when I would use it. Like, are you putting baby in there because you work from home and you need them in a safe space? Do you have large animals? I don't know when and how you're using it exactly in your home. I'm not going to hate on them. I just don't necessarily need one. You may. Okay, next we have some clothing. Clearly a little baby girl. I've got lots of pinks. Nothing wrong with this. This is going to be a summer baby. Short sleeves. They're very nice, simple outfits. We got some little sleepers. The two-way zipper can be nice. I will say that. And if you look here on this maroon one, you can see it. It's got the cuffed sleeve. If baby's scratching baby's face, you can protect their little face from their fingernails. So I like those. In a three-pack for $32.99, it's not too bad of a price. Okay, bath time. So this looks like, what is this little baby fountain toy? Not necessary. No bath toys really are necessary. And then we have like a shower head situation. I don't know how this works exactly. If it has to hook onto something or if it's complicated or if it's really easy to use, but could come in handy to rinse baby's hair. So not a need if you're broke. Okay, and we got some washcloths. 10 pack, I'd say that's a good amount for bath time. I wouldn't get too many more than that. I would say these are pink. What if your next child is a boy? Maybe don't get everything in pink. Okay, changing pad. We changed our baby on the guest bed in their bedroom. So we put a quilt down, changed them on that. All right, some meal and feeding time things. We got a couple cups. We got a little booster seat. I don't love the style of this booster seat necessarily, but I prefer a booster seat over a high chair. I'm not super loving it. I'll try to link one very similar to the one we have. I don't know. I'm like, you're using this at home or is this just for travel? Silicone bibs. Love them. We have silicone bibs. I, again, though, maybe I want to get the pinks. For cause, we got the pink and we got the white. You might have a boy after this and you don't need to purchase all new items. And of course you can use pink for a boy, but it just feels kind of like, I don't know, clearly you chose gender specific for this baby. Go gender neutral on a lot of stuff. That's what I very highly recommend. Okay, we got a portable bottle thermos situation. I don't know that that's a need, like a bottle warmer type thing. I directly breastfed, so not really my department. I'd say you probably can make do without it. Bathtub thermometer, no. Put your hand in the water, it'll be fine. The grooming kit, I do not recommend the grooming kit. I recommend you buy specific items that you want. For example, if you want this electric nose Frida, buy it specifically. Don't get the big kit. You're not gonna use a lot of the things in there. Like for example, there's a thermometer here. Wait for it, thermometer here. Just get the specific items that you want and get more of a quality version of it. Cradle cap brush, I would say, okay, you don't necessarily need that, like until you know you need it, maybe wait, but up to you. Some pacifiers, cool. Not gonna say anything there. We were pacifier family, so cool. Okay, once again, one of these camera setups for in the car versus a mirror. We have the mirror. I do know some people say like the mirror in the car, technically speaking, like the sun reflecting off your mirror could start a fire kind of thing or like cause the car seat to have hot spots. So you do have to be careful with that. That's not a bad price on that. Um, now I will say in this version, the camera's looking at baby and you're looking at a screen versus the other way around, like the mirror is backed in the back and you're looking in your mirror. You're having a screen up front. I don't know for driving purposes if this is a problem or if you're going to get critiqued on it as like a driving distraction. So yeah, I'm not sure if it's blocking your view at all or if you're looking down at it. Obviously, we want to keep driving as safe as possible. Okay, now we got a nose Frida snot sucker. 
Do we have an electric one above? And now this one's the manual. Don't know if you need both. Moving on to bedding. If you look real quick, I'm seeing a lot of pink. This is a three pack. <sighs> get gray, get stripes, get just more basic neutral colors is my honest opinion. We got some swaddle sleep sacks and we got the arms free or up potentially style. <sighs> Swaddles are tough. It's it's a tough situation. Sleep is so, so tough. More fitted sheets. If these are for a mini crib, which I believe it says mini crib here and it says mini crib here, I would not get five personally. I'd wait till they're in the big crib. Okay, just a random blanket. Everybody does that, that's fine. On those, I don't mind them so much being pink because those can be your accessories. Like, you know, put them in the nursery, pink it up a little bit, cool. And those can be their special blankets and then you can get new ones for your next kit. Like those I don't judge as much. More swaddles, that's a good price, three for 25. That's not bad. Okay, so now we have a crib. I'm assuming this is the full size crib. It doesn't say mini. I'm actually gonna go into the details. So let's jump over here. I do not like convertible cribs when they convert into like a full size bed. This I do not mind though. I clicked on the brown version because it's easier to see versus the white. It having the little rail right here and then having no rail, it becomes like a day bed. I'm not gonna hate on this. This can be your toddler bed. Now, I do not like convertible cribs that turn into like a full size bed because if your baby chewed on the crib or anything like that, you have extra parts and pieces to store versus this, not too bad. Basically, it comes with one extra mini piece and then when you take that crib rail down, you would have the big rail would be stored somewhere. I can live with this is what I'm saying. I can live with this as being like a practical option. Now, if you have two children very close together in age, this might not make sense because if you have one of them in a toddler bed and then you have a new baby, that's where it gets tricky. So it's an option. I don't know if I'd get a crib with wheels though. I feel like I wouldn't want the wheels. You're not moving it around typically speaking. So wouldn't want that. Okay, um, waterproof mattress cover. That's great, keeps the mattress good. I recommend getting two of those. Okay, now we got a breast milk cooler bag. So are we nursing? I haven't really seen any signs of nursing yet. So we might be moving into that. Why do we need two cooler bags? I would argue we don't need two of those. One should suffice. Breast milk bags, yeah. If you're gonna be pumping, like if you are a working mama, those items would be great. Okay, if you're gonna be nursing, you're gonna need more than just this. This is not doing it for you. So hopefully we come across more in a little bit. Okay, now we're moving on to car seats. So we got a car seat here, and then we got a three-in-one travel system. I cannot see the picture here. If it's a three-in-one, I'm guessing it's a car seat, a base, and a stroller. So I get a little confused when you're buying two car seats, but maybe they're gonna use this one later on as they grow up, and this one will be their newborn one. So could be a good system. All right, we got some like baby food introduction items. I don't think these are necessary, but if you wanna get one set of it, okay. Okay, we're moving into other. We got some burp cause, nothing wrong with those. We got a little splash pad. We got a little baby pool. So you don't have to get everything your kid is ever gonna need on the baby registry. They're gonna have a first Christmas. They're gonna have a first birthday. Yeah, rocking horse swan, not needed. Ball pits, balls for a ball pit, excuse me. We don't need to get those on our baby registry. We can get those at their birthday, okay? Okay, I thought this was a bottle washing tub. This is a miniature washing machine. I don't know what the situation is that you would need that. I find that interesting. I have, I don't know what to say on that because that is, I've never seen that on a baby registry, never. Are you washing clothes that got stained in there? Do you not want to wash your baby's clothes in your washer? Do you live in a small apartment? You don't want to have to constantly go down to the laundry? Like if you don't have a washer and dryer in your own home. I'm not sure what the situation is to need that, but interesting item, interesting item. Okay, we got some more onesies, nothing wrong with that. Now, we got a little portable potty thing. If you are doing elimination communication, EC, where you potty train from birth, go ahead and get this if you're gonna be using this with an infant. If you are gonna potty train your kid at two, three years old, get this item for their first birthday or Christmas or second birthday or second Christmas. You don't need you don't need to store this item for two years. Okay, velvet hangers. Okay, you don't need the velvet, but whatever. First aid kit, that is not a bad idea. Just to go ahead and get one while you're doing the baby registry. A lot of these items they're not gonna need immediately. They're not gonna be needing band-aids. Hopefully they're not getting hurt as a newborn, but this could come in handy during the toddler years. And this this might be a good time to go ahead and get it. Throw it in your car if you don't have one. So I'm, I'm not gonna hate on that. That's an unusual item as well, but I'm not gonna hate on that. Okay, these little containers, these could come in handy for baby food or baby snacks in the future. I'm like, how big is four ounces? Don't don't go too small. You know, we don't want it to be like a ketchup dipper. Debatable if they're quite big enough, but not a bad purchase. Okay, pacifier wipes. I don't know. I don't, 
I didn't use them. <laughs> okay, we're into another toy, wait for their birthday. Now, I will say on these blocks, depending on when your baby's born versus Christmas, like I think for example, I think this is a summer baby. So technically these blocks could be a really good first Christmas gift when they're around six months old, five, six, seven months, consider a Christmas gift. I would not put all these items on my baby registry, just my honest opinion. Okay, now we have baby food pouch, like a whole system here. Are you the type of person that's disciplined enough to use this? Cause this is something I could see collecting dust depending on the person. I could also see this being a great option. You don't need pouches though. I will say that if you're gonna take the time to do all this, use the pouches for when you're not at home. And when you're at home, instead of taking the time to go through all these pouches, just feed them with a spoon and a bowl. That would be my recommendation. Okay, interesting choices there though. All right, we got some little like sets here. Um, You got your suction cups. Those can be nice, but I also think we should teach baby not to throw their food. I like that these are matching sets. I will say that. I would actually consider getting two of each just so you have enough to get through meals and stuff. Depends on if you're hand washing or putting these in the dishwasher. Okay, we got electric nail clippers. I think I saw this in the grooming kit. So again, you're doubling up. Just get what you want. Okay, pacifier clips. About four is plenty. That way you can fit a couple in the diaper bag. You got one at home. Like you don't need a bunch of those. Four is definitely plenty. Okay, here's what I thought that washer was. This is the dish or um, bottle pump parts. It's like a washing bin. You could just buy a tub at Dollar Tree for a dollar and make that be your washing tub. And it's like, this is sanitary. It's used for this. Or you could just use a bowl that you already have at home that you're comfortable using. I think, I think this is a little bit of a gimmick. I would skip it. Okay, electric baby bottle brush washing kit. I think that's a little much. I think it's just a basic bottle brush will do the job. Okay, unicorn nightlight. I just, I wouldn't. <laughs> I'd go more basic. Personally, skincare, I don't like to talk about that. That's personal decisions. We got a like baby food introduction item. You already bought that one set, so I probably wouldn't get this. It's Frida, it's a pacifier like syringe for giving them medicine. I didn't use one, so I can't say if it works or not, but I get it. Giving medicine to children can be tough. Okay, that concludes this baby registry. A couple takeaways, there's a lot of pink items. If you're gonna have multiple children, you might get both genders. Consider some more gender neutral items. There were quite a few items on this baby registry that were potentially grow into items. We got baby's first Christmas, baby's first birthday, baby's second Christmas, baby's second birthday. There's lots of opportunities to shower our children with gifts. Hold back a little bit, save some of those for later. So I hope you enjoyed reviewing this baby registry. And if you're interested in checking out a couple more registries, I will link a few at the end right now. Thanks again. See you at the next one.